Classic TV fans, Rick Nige here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Hogan's Heroes, more specifically about a really special episode. And I'll tell you why for many different reasons. It's from the first season of Hogan's Heroes called Happiness is a Warm Sergeant. Now, if you are a fan of classic TV shows and movies, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free to do so, and it lets everyone know, as well as you, that I uploaded a new video. Thank you so much for the support, and let's get right to the video. Happiness is a Warm Sergeant, released or premiered November 26, 1965. Now, it's a very special episode, as I mentioned. Why? It was the first one that I ever saw of Hogan's Heroes. I don't know why, but when I saw the commercial for an upcoming episode of Hogan's Heroes, I saw Sergeant Schultz in a wheelbarrow, obviously very drunk and being carted back to Stalag 13. That little clip, 20 seconds long, it hooked me. I said, I need to watch what this show is all about. I watched the episode, I wanted more and more, and that got me hooked to the show. It made me want more and more and more. Now, this is what happens in this episode overall. Sergeant Schultz, played by the amazing John Banner, while escorting Newkirk, played by Richard Dawson. Now, while they head to the dentist, Schultz gets drunk, and he's replaced at Stalag 13 by a hardline, no-nonsense guard. Now, Hogan is not happy by this because he is not allowed to do his shenanigans and carry out his espionage and sabotage. So what he does, he acts fast to get Schultz restored to his former post. It's a great episode, as I said. There's laughing throughout. But if you may think that this is a preposterous episode, like really, would you ever get a German officer from World War II drunk and then carted back in a wheelbarrow? Like, who would think of that, right? How absurd and ludicrous is this? But no. This actually happened in real life. I know you're all going to not believe this or be like, no, Rick, this can't be. But no, this actually happened. And that's what makes this amazing because sometimes truth is really stranger than fiction. Now, as Newkirk is willing back Schultz to camp in this funny wheelbarrow, again, it's the climax of this episode and just the funniest imagery for you to ever see, you will notice that the drunken Sergeant Schultz calls Clink Commandant big shut to his face and again it is so good so awesome if you haven't seen it check out this episode and it's preposterous i know but there are roots in reality as i mentioned now who does this come from you may think a random guy no leon askin now leon askin he may seem familiar to you you may have heard of him he actually plays general burkhalter on hogan's heroes now this is a man who in real life was jewish playing a German World War II officer, a German World War II general. And in real life, not the character, but the man, Leon Askin, was interred in a real French POW camp during World War II. He had real life experience. Now, he said that one day, another prisoner and him and a guard were sent on an errand to nearby village. This is while he was in the camp. Now, the guard himself deserted them. He got drunk in a saloon, passed out, and him, as long as a, another prisoner that was a friend of his, they brought him back to camp in a wheelbarrow. Yeah, I know this may sound familiar, but this is the exact premise of the episode, Happiness is a Warm Sergeant. So not only did this actually happen, but it was the basis of this episode. And I think that's fantastic that they were able to put this humor into it they were able to tell this story that actually happened into the show make fun of it make fun of the germans at that time i think it is fantastic now how many of you actually knew about this because i think the fact that this actually happened makes this episode even better than i thought it was i love to hear your thoughts down below have you seen this episode did you actually know that this actually happened and are you surprised of Leon Askin, him, of course, General Burkhalter, being in a French POW camp during World War II, you know, having some connection to these atrocities that happened, and him relegating this story, talking about this story in which this episode was made. Wow, that is just simply mind-blowing. This is the type of stuff I tell you about on this channel. Thanks so much for supporting, as always. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up like button. It helps me out so much, and it is free. We'll see you all next time, and don't forget, everyone, be hopeful. 
Thank you so much to my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. Harold P, Terry Y, Jerry D, Citizen Kane 359, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to join the patron community, check the link in the description below. Thank you.